Everybody good? Yeah. Thanks. Be on your guard. There may be other assailants on the station. Such incivility is far from uncommon in this place, but nothing like this. Your assistance is appreciated, but I would expect nothing less from one of the Sith Academy's most illustrious students. It's apparent that you have surpassed our expectations for you. And it's apparent that you have fallen far from grace. What kind of Sith ends up in this position? One who is no longer a Sith. I renounced the title when Asena declared we would be loyal to the Eternal Empire. Why bother training the next generation of Sith when our leaders will throw everything away at the first sign of hardship? Ras, where's the commander? Right here, Jet. But we're kinda in the middle of something. Head has come out of hiding. Hidden chain strike teams are moving on targets across the galaxy, all at once. Some of them attack Port Nowhere. Rass and I dealt with it. What? I've got nothing that says Port Nowhere was on their hit list. Are you sure they were hidden chain? Jakaya. Mebana. What's... Rass, later. When everything's calmed down, I'll tell you more. There's no pattern to these attacks. Another happens as soon as we put one down. I don't have enough people to keep up. Intel says the hidden chain are going to hit an out-of-the-way spot on Ord Mantel. I'm out of people to send there. I care nothing for the fate of that backwater planet. But I am certain no one wishes to see a war between Mandalorian brutes spread. I can take care of this, Jakaya. You'll be walking into hostile territory just to hunt down a completely different enemy. And I have no backup to give you. You sure you want to do this? Do you want my help or not? I'm not saying I don't. I just want to make sure you fully understand what you're signing up for. Ras, I need you with me. On my way. Is it me or did Jakaya sound... I don't know. Not like Jakaya. Why are you still here? You are going to require ample preparation if you want to move about Ord Mantell freely. Why do you say that? A Sith Lord, skulking about a Republic planet facing off against Mandalorian raiders. Need I say more? You'll need someone to help you work without drawing attention. Unless you want the entirety of the Republic military to converge on your position? Let me guess, you know just the person. Unfortunately for you, the best person for the job is Gizmal Gam, a lowlife in an insignificant political office based out of a rubbish heap called Kesson's Landing. I won't say how I know, but I can assure you Gizmal will be more than agreeable to collaborating with the Empire. I'll take your word for it. Sounds like you've got what you need. If you've got it from here, I need to get moving. I've never seen Jack so impatient. Get back to Jakaya. Tell him I've got this under control. Of course the coward's not here. So much for that open door policy Gam's been going on about. Ha! How does he come up with this stuff? And how do people keep falling for it? He always thinks he can wait out the consequences. He's not dodging us this time. Don't worry. He's gotta come back eventually. I'm not waiting around all day. I say if he doesn't come back soon, we go looking for him. Hey! What in blazes are you doing here? Probably not. But I'm not gonna just roll over for you either. What do you want? Ha 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 ha! Get in line! If we knew where he was, you think we'd be standing around here like idiots? What a great offer. Look, we don't want any trouble. If we knew where to find Gam, we'd tell you. If you let us walk out of here alive, then we can tell you where he likes to hang around. 
Try the cantina or grill speeder shop. Even if he's not there, someone's probably seen him. Can we go? But you said... I told you it wouldn't be ready until tomorrow, Nolan. We talked about this, remember? These things take time. You gotta have patience and put some trust in old Gizmo. Oh, jeez. Oh, how did you find me? I mean, why would you want to find me? Who hired you? Which coward sent you to do their dirty work? Ah, don't listen to them. They're all talk. A few investments don't turn out the way they hoped, and they get all bent out of shape. <laughs> You'd think I'd cost them their life savings or something. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Need something fast? Credits? Something to take the edge off? A hush-hush ride out of Kesson's Landing? Whatever you can dream of, I've got it all. That's a very specific question. One that I can easily find an answer for. After you clear up a little problem for me, of course. Normally this place is last on the Republic's list of priorities, but for some reason a few of my most recent business enterprises caught the attention of SIS. They've got agents following me around every corner. I've been laying low while they sniff around, but I gotta get out there among the people if you want information. You get those agents off my back, and I'll get you every last scrap of information you're looking for. No tricks. Just two people having each other's backs. That's so rare nowadays, you know? I'm going to assume you've been to my office already. If you head back there, you can pick up a few toys to help you root out where those busy buddies are hiding. Once you find them, make sure they can never bother me again. If you catch my meaning, signal me with this when the job's done, and I'll meet you at my office. Pleasure doing business with you. Sorry, friend. We're about to lock up for the day. Who? Is there a, a problem? We honestly don't know what's going on. You think we're SIS? Don't know what gave you that idea, friend, but uh, we're just mechanics. Whoa, there's no need for all that. If you just... Uh, now! That's not necessary. What are you doing here, Krovos? Funny. I was just wondering the same thing. Your new friend was very concerned about your presence in Kesson's Landing. What? What are you talking about? Quiet. A member of the Dark Council is speaking. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, of course. There is a healthy dose of dissidence in this part of Ord Mantel. A separatist movement that's been dormant for years is beginning to stir. This man supplies those separatists with rations, weapons, whatever they need. For his trouble, an anonymous benefactor pays him offensively large sums of credits. That is an absurd and, frankly, a reprehensible accusation. I serve everyone to the absolute best of my ability. Your benefactor works for me. The Empire has many vigilant servants in every corner of Ord Mantel. When you reached out to your contact, inquiring about the size of the ransom the Empire would pay for such an infamous visitor, word passed quickly to me. That's not... You can't... You little worm. I've killed for less than this. I know. I know. It was stupid. You're the one who busted down my door and said an attack was coming? 
Can you blame me for trying to score enough credits to get out of the blast zone? If I were to be perfectly honest, I appreciate the fact that you were so eager to take advantage of this situation. But I would hate for all that I have invested on Ord Mantell to go to waste due to one man's greed and stupidity. I have also received reports that the rift among the Mandalorians is spreading, in a way that threatens the Empire's interests across the galaxy. I will not allow these hidden chain Mandalorians to disrupt what I have built here. Together, you and I will ensure they meet a swift end. I had no time to consult the rest of the Dark Council about this. I'm relieved I didn't need to. That is understandable, especially so considering your close proximity to the current leader of the Mandalorians. However, I have a vested interest in the network of resources and information that has been established here. I will see to its preservation myself. With my help, we can put an end to this distraction quickly and return to our business, without destroying years of work. We will require assistance from local agents sympathetic to our interests. Me? You want my help? I thought my part was finished. Are you saying you are of no use to us? You make a very convincing argument. And anyway, I reckon that Mandalorians running through the streets would put a damper on expanding my business prospects. Now that you mention it, I've got a separate aspire who's been real pushy lately, more than usual. Keeps talking about something big they've got in the works. Could be connected to this hidden chain you're all worried about. Could be coincidence. Only one way to find out. What do you suggest? I just dropped a weapon shipment for the Spire. I'll shoot her a quick hollow call, tell her I forgot something. That'll buy us time before she makes the pickup. Meanwhile, you two go to the drop point, wait for her to show up, and find out if she's in with these Mandalorians. Piece of cake. Except for one thing. How do you know she won't run when she sees us? Ah, you see, my buyer and I always arrange handoffs in the geothermal station outside of town. There's an old ventilation shaft that'll get you in and out completely unnoticed. Use that for the old element of surprise, and she'll never see you coming. This better not be some kind of trap. I understand your suspicion, really. I do. But I know a good deal when it's in front of me. I'll keep my ear to the ground while you're gone, see if I can pick up anything else that'll get you ready for this attack. Do not let him out of your sight. I'll just, uh, do all my asking around from in here, I guess. <laughs> That is quite enough. Okay, okay. Take it easy, and don't come near me. Did you really think you stood a chance against them? It's not like I had a choice. What was I supposed to do? Let them drag me out of here? Put me in chains? I was trying to find my sister. I haven't seen her in days. Mina works here, so I thought... I ran into them instead. How fortunate for you that we arrived when we did. I had it under control. You call that under control? I got away from them for a minute, before you showed up. But I messed up. Got distracted. Distracted? By what? Cooling rods. They're the only things keeping the thermal station from blowing half of Ord Mantell into a crater. Those Gundarks in the fancy armor were taking crates full of them out of here. I tried to stop them, or at least slow them down. If we don't find those cooling rods and put them back, this whole place is going up. I have a mission to stop the hidden chain. Might be hard for you to do that if Kesson's Landing is wiped off the face of the planet. We need a backup plan, quickly. Damn it. My sister told me about this. There's a quick fix, but I'll need your help. What do you need me to do? We can redirect the water from the reservoir into the back spillway. That should provide enough coolant to keep things stable. For now. 
Someone's got to watch my back in case there's any more of them around. And someone's got to stay here to flip the spillway switch when I give the signal. I'll stay here. Contact me at once if you need backup. Let's go! What's your status? We were wrong about the cooling rods. The hidden chain or the Separatists must have relocated them. You'll have to find some other way to pull the strings around here. Not the update I expected to hear. What else? There are still some hidden chain soldiers here, but they'll be dealt with. See that they are. Crevice out. Jonas, there's a package on Ward Mantell, Kesson's Landing. You got what you wanted. My sister could still be here, and we're not leaving until I see for myself. Let go of me! She was right there. I told you we were running out of time to find her. We could have... I, I could have... She was right there! What's done is done. No use crying over it now. Tell that to everyone in town who's got someone on that shuttle. I heard it was you who was meddling in my raid. Looks like Vizsla doesn't even bother to come along anymore. Just sends you out to clean up her mess. But I guess it's only fair, seeing how she had us running your errands for as long as we did. Who is he? I don't know. You're better than this. You've got strength and skill that would put some of my elite to shame. Field Marshal Call rewards people like us. She'd welcome your help, if you ever get tired of being Shay's bootlicker. I won't lie, it's an intriguing thought. One that has crossed my mind. What are you doing? Quiet, whelp! Get her on the shuttle! Kesarim! What happened to you? About that. I thought about coming to talk to you in person. But something tells me that two Sith aren't going to let someone like me walk away from that conversation. But I wanted to make sure I thanked you. You opened a lot of eyes around here. People here are not happy. Word's already getting around about the Separatists opening our door for the Mandalorians. They want to know how things got this far. They want someone to blame, and someone to help clean up the mess. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. Maybe I'm tired of everyone ignoring people like my sister. Maybe I think getting help from someone like you is the only way to change things. I don't see much point in sticking my neck out for the Republic. They sure as hell don't do it for us. They're not going to do anything to get my sister back. 
but I will. It seems like they've been getting away with too much. It's about time someone stood up to them. Mina tried. A lot. But that obviously didn't work. We tried standing up to the Separatists her way. It's time to try something else. I don't feel like I have any other choice. You do have some skill in wielding the Force. I can get you into the Sith Academy. Not interested, and I'm going to go now before your offer turns into a demand. I hope you aren't too disappointed by Gizmo's absence. He was called to help oversee the... situation at the geothermal plant. And you let him go? He won't run away. He will make sure everyone remembers that this happened on the Republic's watch. I do wish this situation had yielded more than a mild threat of unrest. To compensate, I would like to identify other methods through which we can sway them to our side. There are other favors we can offer Kesson's Landing. A show of such generosity will push them to further resent the Republic's negligence. We couldn't have asked for a better time to do this. What do you mean? I just spoke with Petra, the woman we found in the geothermal station. There will be a boundless number of opportunities to earn the loyalty of Kesson's Landing as they recover from the Separatists and the Hidden Chain. Then it seems our work is cut out for us. The fire is starting. We just need to fan the flames. I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> Took me longer than expected. Had to double back a few times. Didn't want anyone following me and discovering you. Fine folks, but I made it back. I'm sure the two of you are excited. Those Mandos really did a number on this place. Snatching people off the streets, throwing in with the Separatists. Everyone's worried about the geothermal station. It didn't go kaboom, but it's still gonna take a long time to fix. An unintended circumstance. Sorry to hear that? But I guess you're done with me. There's no way I have any part in this from here on out. Right? Oh, but you do. We encountered several missteps because of your suggestions. I think your continued service to the Empire will be an excellent way to make amends. That's not such a good idea. I had Republic heat on me before you showed up, and it'll only get worse from here. What about weapons? Medical supplies. Separatists aren't going to be in the market for that stuff right now. They've got to focus on their numbers. Would that make up for everything? The only thing that can make up for your incompetence is your life. Is it wise to throw away resources so heedlessly? We have more important issues to discuss. Someone unexpected has offered to help me put an end to Heta Cole's rebellion, Sahar Katin. She claims that when the time is right, we will strike at the heart of the hidden chain. It must be a ruse, an obvious attempt at lowering your defenses. Although it is unexpectedly slow-witted of the hidden chain to send a Jedi to try and earn your confidence. Accepting her help would be a foolish decision on your part. One that would make me sincerely question your judgment. She is weak. If she is having doubts, we should exploit them. Show her the path to the dark side. She was a Jedi, then a Mandalorian. Now she reaches out to you. I am hesitant to place any trust in someone who cannot seem to determine where her loyalty should go. Even if she were telling the truth, it would not change how much we have at stake. She would be useless to us without Darth Null's holocron. But I suppose this conversation is irrelevant for now. Yes, unless the Padawan actually follows through with her plans. <laughs>